That's a damn question. That's um, an asshole question to ask. Don't ask questions like that. That's a stupid, that's, you should get punched in the face for asking a question like that. All right, guys. So in this video here today, we're going to be looking at 14 questions not to ask the bride and groom at a wedding. Let's go. Roll intro. Question number one is, can you lift the bride? So um, most of you guys, I mean, when you're posing the couple, there's, uh, you want to do certain poses whereby, you know, they're doing a certain pose and then you film. So if you're posing the couple, don't ever ask the groom to lift the bride. And I mean, you can do that, but you have to consider the weight of the bride. Okay, guys, if you notice that the bride is on the thicker side of things, and uh, you know you you don't think the groom can lift the bride? Don't ask the groom to lift the bride because it's just not a comfortable. You know the bride will kind of feel some type of way, like oh, um, you know I'm you know I'm huge or whatever, and it's not gonna work, and they're struggling to do it. Just don't ask that question. First, what you do is you look at their weight, and then from there you can ask the question. Um, yes or no, you can choose to ask or not, but first you have to like look at the bride and the groom and kind of like see if the groom can lift the bride. And if you don't think that can happen, then don't ask that question because you just trying to make a shot work. Don't just try and make a shot work. Even if it can't work, don't push certain pauses. If you don't think those pauses are going to work for the couple that you're working with guys. Okay. So sometimes it's best just to not ask that question, you know, because some, some brides, especially women, they're uncomfortable about their weight, about their appearance. So you doing that, you just get, you just make the bride even feel bad about herself. You know what I mean? So you don't want her feeling bad about herself or her weight or whatever. So just don't ask that question, you know, because some women are insecure about that stuff. I've done this where I've tried to make the couple do something that physically they can't do so just like or sometimes like you're telling the couple to jump off of a of a little like um, ledge or whatever you know don't like if you see that maybe the, the dress is too tight and the bride can't jump or she's kind of like struggling like just forget about it you still not forget you know what guys never mind never mind i'm so sorry Le never mind let's move on to the next shot you know what i mean just like assess the situation first before you ask some of these questions while you are, you know, posing the bride and groom for some shots, because sometimes you want to get the creative shots, but you have to look at the conditions, the situations and um, and see if you can ask those questions or not. So sometimes it's just best to avoid this question. So question number two is, can you guys kiss? I know it's like, OK, yeah, I mean, duh, Francis, they're married now. They can kiss. Right. But. Not everybody can kiss, guys. Just because they're married doesn't mean, oh, they can kiss whenever, however they want, and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, don't think that way. Because I've done weddings for, like, um, some Indian couples, and they're reserved. And, you know, their culture, they can't do certain things in front of, like, maybe their family or their parents especially. You know, so don't ask certain questions. Or if you want, you can, like, what I do sometimes is I ask the groom or the bride, uh, privately, you know, pull them to the side and be like, hey, so you guys, is it okay if you guys kiss in front of these people? Or is it okay if you guys kiss, blah, 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 like this and that? Ask them, like, you know, in private, by the, like, pull them to the side and ask them, like, oh, can you guys do this or can you guys do that? Before you just go ahead and ask them to do it. Because they might not be comfortable to do it and, the, and maybe their religion might not allow them to do that even in front of people. Because some, some religions, some couples, some cultures, you know, they can't do certain things in public, guys. Even if they're married, they can't do certain things in public. So you have to be mindful of that. You have to be respectful of that and respect that couple's culture, respect that couple's tradition, respect that couple's religion, respect them, you know. So if sometimes, like some couples might be like American couples and um, they might be, you know, yeah, just because you shoot a whole bunch of couples for like American couples where like they can do that stuff and do whatever, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean all couples, all couches are going to be like that. 
you have to first look at who you're working with and then um, you know consider asking a question like that so the best thing to do is to pull them to the side maybe the bride or the groom and both of them gonna know the bride or the groom and be like hey um john can you guys kiss is it okay for you guys to kiss in your couch or whatever you know because some people might you know that's that might be not allowed to kiss because there are some couples that don't even kiss um that are not allowed to do the oh you may now kiss the bride I've done some Catholic weddings where uh, the priest doesn't even tell them to do that. The, the priest just goes like, okay, they just do this, but they don't want to say you guys can kiss. They just do that. And then sometimes the bride and groom just sneak in a kiss and um, that's that. But some cultures, some religions, they don't allow you to kiss in the church or in the temple or, or whatever, mosque, stuff like that. So, you know, you have to be mindful of those things and ask questions uh, privately before you go and try and do something like let's say they're walking out of the the church or where, wherever the the religious um, building is and then in, it, right there halfway you're like oh can you guys kiss you have to know if they can or cannot do that in that establishment so you have to be mindful of that and you have to ask the the couple first so no you can't ask them can they kiss you know, just like from nowhere, or oh, can you guys kiss? You want to get a shot? Can you guys kiss? You have to know if they can do that or not first before you go ahead and ask those questions. That's why you need to know the couple before the wedding. That's why you need to bring this through. You ask the couple, oh, so what am I allowed? What are you guys allowed to do and not do? What am I allowed to, get, to ask you guys to do and not do? Stuff like that. You have to get all that situated when, before you get to the wedding. So that way, you know, you're mindful, you're respectful, and you know what's going on instead of you just assuming, oh, yeah, well, every couple kisses um, when they say you're now married, whatever, every couple kisses. No, not every couple kiss, guys. So just be mindful of that, guys. Be mindful and be knowledgeable, you know, be enlightened about the couple and what they want. You know, some Christian couples, they don't kiss, um, you know, in the church or whatever. So you have to know, uh, like I've done... a. Uh, I've done a few weddings for Jehovah Witnesses, right? And they don't kiss when they're doing that. So sometimes they sneak in a kiss or whatever, but the pastor is not going to be like, oh, you may now kiss the bride. They, they're not going to say that. So just be mindful, guys, and don't tell them to do something that they don't want to do or they can't do because of religious or cultural um, situations, and you're just forcing them to do it. So... Be mindful of the couple and you have to know the background of their culture. You have to know what they can and cannot do. So just don't ask the question, can you kiss if you don't know if they can kiss or not? Because some couples, they can't even kiss before the wedding, before they get married, you know. So um, just also know that just because they're at the first look or they're, they meet before the, the ceremony, like, oh, can you guys kiss? Like may, some couples can't do that. So you need to know this, all these things before you go ahead and start telling your couple, can you kiss? All right, number three is don't ask them if there is any agenda behind their marriage. Don't ask them if they have any agenda behind this marriage, guys. Like, what are you getting at? Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, so what is your agenda? Why are you guys getting married? You know what I mean? Like, Who's benefiting from this wedding? You know what I mean? Like, are you guys doing it for a green card? Are you guys doing it so this person, that person can get a citizenship? Are you guys doing it because you're being forced by your parents? Are you guys doing it because, you know, you guys were, um, like, you know, it doesn't freaking matter, guys. Like, you know, don't ask questions like that. You know what I mean? Like, so what if they have an agenda? You don't have to know their agenda. You are just there to film their wedding. So don't worry about the agenda that they have behind their wedding that's a damn question that's um an asshole question to ask you know oh do you guys have an agenda behind this marriage like who's benefiting from this marriage don't ask questions like that that's a stupid that's you should get punched in the face for asking a question like that all right so number four is do you think you guys are right for each other why would you ask a question like that do you think you guys are right for each other like you know if they didn't think they were right for each other. You wouldn't be there filming the wedding now, would you? Right? You'd be there filming somebody else's wedding. So don't ask, um, don't ask them if they think they're right for each other. Of course they think they're right for each other because they're getting married, right? They're going to they're be together till whatever death through them part or whatever. But 
they already made that decision before booking your culo, right? So don't be asking them questions like, are you guys right for each other? You know what I mean? Just because you think they're not right for each other doesn't mean they don't think they're right for each other. You know what I mean? Like everyone has a different taste in clothes and food and cars and lifestyle and certain type of men they want, certain type of women they want. So just because you don't think this guy who looks like a nerd is going out with this girl who looks like America's next top model just doesn't mean like, you know, they're not right for each other. Just because this guy is short and this girl is like freaking inches taller than him. I've done couples like that where the guy is shorter. It doesn't mean they're not right for each other. It doesn't mean a guy always has to marry a girl who's shorter than them or same level. Like, dude, if people like each other, they love each other, just like, don't worry about it. You're there to film the wedding. Don't worry about if they're right for each other or not. Because if they were not right for each other, you wouldn't be there filming their wedding. So just be happy that you got booked and you're making some money out of this. You are not the one who's going to be dealing with the other person on a daily basis. You are not the one who's going to look at the, who's going to be waking up next to them, making food, going out with them, doing whatever, going through labor and delivery with them. You're not going to be the one in that couple's, in that other person's life. So don't worry about if they're right for each other. They, they definitely, they probably are because, I mean, they've probably been together for a while before this happened. But whatever the, whatever the situation, don't ask that question. It's just not an appropriate question to ask people. Okay, so number five here is how much did you guys pay other vendors? It's none of your freaking business. You know what I mean? If the other vendor got paid $5,000 and you're getting paid $300, it doesn't matter. You know, they paid you your asking price. So why are you asking them, oh, what, what, what are you guys paying the photographer? How much are you paying the photographer? How much are you paying the DJ? How much are you paying the, this, this venue here? How much are you paying for the food? How much are you paying for this cake? Like, don't ask them, you know, how much they're paying other vendors. Just worry about how much you are getting paid because you set your price, right? So if you wanted to get paid this much or that much, you set the price. So don't be asking what other vendors are charging because the other vendors set their price. So don't worry about what other vendors, you know, um, are getting paid. It's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's none of your business. Like, what information are you going to, what are you going to do with that information? Are you going to change your price now because these people are getting paid way more than you like come on guys like don't ask that question like oh how much are you paying the dj how much are you paying the photographer how much are you paying the venue don't ask questions about what they're paying other vendors because that's business between them and those other different vendors okay guys number six is will there be any liquor at the wedding or any alcoholic beverage I mean, like, don't ask that question. Oh, are you guys going to have some liquor, some Hennessy, some Ciroc here? You know, are you guys going to have some Patron so we can get, you know, stuff like, don't ask questions like that. You know what I mean? Because, like, I, just because you drink, just because you're an alcohol, just because you drink and you are an alcoholic and you want to keep drinking at the wedding or you want to do whatever you want to do, doesn't mean every couple is going to do that. Some people just drink lemonade. I've been to weddings where couples have just drunk lemonade and water for their guests and stuff like that and there's like christian weddings and some other religion weddings you know they drink certain stuff that they drink you know they just they don't have alcoholic drinks and i've done some indian weddings where like there's no like um meat there's just like more vegetarian stuff you're not going to be like oh why aren't you guys eating meat why isn't the why don't i see a ribeye on the menu you know why don't i see a new york strip on the menu like why don't i see some pork on the menu you know what I mean? Like, that's your own preference, and you should have brought yourself a pig to eat. Some people don't eat that shit. So don't be asking them questions like that. Like, oh, why isn't there this kind of beverage? Or why isn't there this kind of food? It's not in your area to ask questions like that, you know? Everybody has their own uh, personal preferences. So just because you drink um, alcohol doesn't mean the couple has to drink alcohol. You know, that just because it's a party doesn't mean they need to be liquor there or they need to be whatever beers, Bud Light or Miller over there. You know, if you wanted to drink some, bring some Miller for yourself in a cooler and you drink that, sneak drink that on the low by yourself. You know, don't be uh, asking a couple questions like, where's the, where's the bar at? I, why, you, why don't you guys have a bar? You know what I mean? Like, don't ask questions like that. You know what I mean? Some people, their religions, 
you know, um, tell them not to do those things and they follow their religion and they're religious about it. So don't ask questions like that. They might have water, they might have lemonade, they might have Gatorade, just go, just drink whatever they're offering over there. They might have soft drinks, just go drink your Pepsi and, and keep it moving, keep shooting. And if you want to drink something else, then bring yourself whatever you want to drink. Don't be asking questions, don't be asking couples why they're not drinking or eating a certain type of food or a certain type of drink. Okay, number seven is, can I bring my date to the wedding? Don't ask the couple if you can bring whoever you're dating or who you're engaged to or bring your wife. Like, you know, like, take your date somewhere else. You know what I mean? Take your date to Applebee's. Take your date somewhere else. This is a wedding. You are there to work. You're not there to party. You're not there to mingle around and try and uh, whatever, do this and do that. You are there to work. So don't be asking couples if you can bring your significant other or if you can bring your puppy or your cat. You know, don't ask him stuff like that. Or can I bring my son to the wedding? Can I bring my, like, you know, don't ask him questions like that. You know, because if you bring somebody, that means like you're going to be also uh, dividing your attention between the couple and the person that you brought there. You're going to want to please the couple and please the person you brought. So don't be bringing, taking your dates to weddings. You know, that's the event whereby they have their guests. They, they invited people who they wanted to invite. You know, they didn't invite your, your date. They didn't invite Susie to come with you and to, to over there look sexy or whatever. Like, you know, keep Susie home. Keep her locked in the, in the bedroom. You know, I'm, I'm just playing. But yeah, just like, you know, don't ask them if you can bring your date, guys. It's so unprofessional. It's so, uh, I don't know. I'm going to use this word a lot. It's so stupid. Number eight, if, you, um, if you're a friend of the couple, don't ask them who they invited or who they didn't invite and why. You know what I mean? Like, it's their wedding, not yours. So if they didn't want to invite a certain person that you guys mutually know, you know, don't ask them, oh, why didn't you invite Dave? You know, he was telling me he wanted to come to your wedding, but you guys didn't invite him. Why didn't you guys invite him? It's their wedding. It's their choice. You know what I mean? If they invited people who they wanted to be there. They didn't invite people who you wanted to be there because it's not your wedding. It's their wedding. So don't worry about them inviting Susie or Dave. Like, you know, let Dave sit, sit home and watch Netflix and chill and whatever. Rub on his nutsack or something. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't invite him over there. So why are you worried about them inviting Dave? You know, maybe they don't like Dave. Maybe Dave is an idiot or he did something before, whatever. Don't worry about who they invited and who they didn't invite. Because it's their wedding, it's their guests, and um, they want those people to witness their, their union. They want those people to share their union with them because they care about the people they invited and those people mean something to them. You know, so don't worry about who you want to be invited at the wedding. Number nine is who paid for this wedding? So, um, you know, it doesn't matter if their dog paid for this wedding. It doesn't matter if their grandpa paid for this wedding. You know, it doesn't matter if their father, their mother, whatever, whoever, their boss, whoever paid for the wedding. Don't be asking a question like that. Like, who paid for the wedding? Like, what? Did you want to pay for the wedding? Why are you asking that question? Like, did you want to pay? You want to offer to pay for the wedding? You know what I mean? Like, don't ask him a question like that. That's just too personal of a question. Like, oh, so who's paying for this wedding? Look at all these chandeliers in here, man. Oh, man. Who's paying? Who, who's got that money? Who's, 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 you know, who's fronting this course? Like, don't be asking questions like that, like who's paying for this wedding. It's none of your business. You know, just be happy you got booked and, you know, grab a camera and go film. You know, don't be asking who paid for this. Because some couples, their parents, the wife's parents, the girl's parents pay for the wedding. And some, and some cultures, the guy's parents uh, pay for all the costs. So it doesn't matter to you, you know, just, um, just go film. Don't worry about who paid for the wedding. So number 10 is don't ask to participate in events intended for wedding guests. Okay, guys, don't ask to participate in events that are intended for the wedding guests, guys. Stuff like, you know, bouquetos. If you are a female filmmaker and you're there, don't be asking the, the bride, oh, can I you know, catch the bouquet, I'm engaged, you know, I'm dating somebody, can I catch the bouquet, so hopefully, you know, I can be next. Those um, games or whatever, you know, they're intended for the wedding guests, okay, for their guests, they're not intended for you, 
to be going there and trying to catch the gutter, the buquetos, and this and that. You are there to work. Stop trying to catch the buquetos, okay, and go catch a camera somewhere. And, uh, like, nobody cares. Like, also, don't be asked, like, stuff like, oh, um, toasts. You know, don't be asking the bride and groom if you can make a toast. Because, honestly, if they wanted you to make a toast, they would have put you on the list to make a toast. But if you were not on the list to make a speech, don't be asking them if you can make a speech. Oh, it's going to be nice and short. It's going to be nice and quick. Don't worry. I'm going I'm to hold you down with this, with this speech. You know, I've prepared this nice speech that I, that I can, you know, I'm going to wow your audience here. Let me just make this speech real quick. And let me say something. Don't say nothing. I've seen, like, I've seen DJs sometimes, like, like, you know, start making a little speech. Oh, love is about this and that. Like, don't worry about nothing. Just go spin the records over there. They don't want to, they don't want to, you know, hear you talk about, you know, their love or whatever. Like, you making a speech, a toast or whatever. They just want to hear you. They just want you to make them dance and whatever. So if you are a wedding filmmaker, wedding vendor, don't be asking to, you know, try and make a speech or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not in your place to make a speech. And if they really wanted you to make a speech, they would have put you on the speech list. But if you, like, you know, so don't be asking those questions. All the games that people play that they, that they do for their guests, those games are for their guests. They're not for the vendors. The vendors are there to cater to the guests, okay, guys? You're not there to participate in the games that are going on. You are there to document that stuff, okay, guys? So don't be asking questions like, can I participate in this or participate in that? Can I go and do an open mic? Can I go and spit some bars because I can rap? You know, can I go and sing? Can I play the piano? Like, just film, guys. Come on, film. Don't ask to perform illegal activities. You know, don't ask the bride and groom if you can perform illegal activities. Stuff like, oh, can I go and smoke some weed? You know, can I shoot up some heroin? Like, you know, shit like that. Like, don't ask them if you can perform any illegal activities, guys. If you know something is illegal, don't do it. You know, don't ask them if you can do it. If you're gonna do it, maybe just do it on your own self. Go and do it in your car or go do whatever. Don't be asking the couple if you can smoke weed, you know, stuff like that. Like, oh, can I do this? Can I, like, don't ask them to perform any illegal activities, okay? So, you know, don't ask if you can perform illegal activities, okay, guys? Uh, number 11 is don't offer the bride and groom illegal substances, okay? So that kind of ties into the other one, but don't ask them if you can, you know, offer them some weed. Oh, I got a bag of weed, man. This shit is fire right here, man. This shit's going to make you see... You know, it's going to make you see the moon right now. You know, it's going to make you see Pluto. You know, this this right here is going to make you see your future. Like, don't be offering them, you know, drugs. Don't be offering them, you know, any illegal substances. If let's say they, uh, well, liquor is not. But if let's say they don't do something like they don't drink, don't offer them a bottle. You know, don't even bring the freaking bottle there. So number 13 is... Don't ask for donations, guys. This one's huge. So don't ask for donations when you go to a wedding. Don't, don't ask the bride and groom or their guests for donations. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my such and such is sick. Can I, you know, can you guys go and uh, help me on the GoFundMe because my father has cancer? Or oh, my daughter has this. And can you guys go fund me? Like, you're not there to, you know, do that. You were there to film. Stop trying to push your own agendas, your own stuff that you are there, that you want to impose on the bride and groom. That's just wrong. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm filming a feature film. Can you guys um, donate to me? I'm feeding kids in Africa, you know, for 50 cents a day. Can you guys donate to my cause? Oh, I'm trying to solve global warming. I'm trying to solve world hunger. Like, go solve world hunger somewhere else. This is a wedding. They're there to celebrate their union and stuff. Stop trying to bring other things that you want to do to their wedding. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm trying to run for president. Can you guys please vote for me? Go to this page and that page and petition this and like bring that shit, some, bring that shit on social media somewhere else. Stop bringing it, you know, to the wedding and trying to, um, you know, have the couple or their guests go and support your NGO or whatever donation thing you're doing, you know what I mean? If you're feeding the homeless or whatever, go feed the homeless. Go bring that somewhere else. This is a wedding event. You know, it's not a fundraising event. It's called, it's a wedding event. It's not fundraising. 
you know, in, if you are at a fundraising event, maybe you may, you may ask people to, to, you know, to help you out on your other fundraising thing or bring awareness to your other fundraising things or to the other good things you're doing. Like, oh, I'm trying to grow trees. The Amazon forest is getting cut down, so I'm starting my own Amazon forest over here, blah, blah, blah. Like, you can, you know, go and do that over there. But this is a wedding event, and don't bring your other fundraising, whatever, entrepreneur, um, you know, endeavors to this situation. So don't ask for donations. So last but not least, um, number 14 is, um, can I do takeout? You know? You're going to tell the couple, I don't usually eat at weddings because I'm busy running and gunning and doing whatever, filming this wedding for you guys. So can I just do takeout? Uh, I don't want to eat the food there. I'll just do takeout because I'll be busy. Stuff like that. Like, you know, like they're paying for your food. You know, they're paying the caterers. So how do you think they would feel if you tell them, oh, can I do takeout? So just don't eat. If they offer you food and you know you're not going to eat it, just say, oh, thank you. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to have my own food or just put... Say something or whatever. It just or just tell them. Ah, I usually don't eat at weddings. I usually just take liquids or whatever. You know, don't be. Oh, can I do takeout? Can you? You know, can can I do takeout of this food? Like you know, cause every plate, you know, every plate is expensive. They pay for every plate. So if you go over there and you're trying to, you know, um, do takeout or whatever, like that's just wrong, guys. That's just wrong to ask. For if you can take the food home and this and that, especially if they're paying for plates, because plates are more expensive if um, the wedding is like in a hotel or some fancy venue, because oh, like plates sometimes are like 20 bucks a piece, so they're paying for your shit, like, you know, so don't bring up that, can I do takeout, because you just come off as too demanding and too needy, which is uh, not a good thing, you know what I mean? So guys... Those are the 14 questions you don't ask uh, the bride and groom at a wedding. If you enjoyed this video, if you got some insights, uh, make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And uh, thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.